Hello, everybody. We're going to get started shortly. I'm just going to wait a little bit until people start to pile in. How's it going? Get my uh, chat out here. What's up, Austin? Plug Nation. How's it going, JVS and Fitum or Fita? I don't know. I cannot pronounce names. Squeezebox, Starter, what's up? Palestine, well, how's, how's it over there? <laughs> well, okay, you can submit your designs, but make sure they're unique or they've changed at least significantly between submissions. What's up? Oh, I should do that thing where I pin the chat window. Where's that at? Um, there we go. Now it's always on top. Awesome. So today is going to be another one of those, uh, um, the typical design reviews that I've been doing for, boy, it's probably been five or six months so far. How's it going, everyone? <clears throat> All right, so just to begin here, as always, or as of past couple months, these live streams are sponsored by Skillshare.com, which is an online education platform uh, where you can learn a ton of different things. They have, I believe, 20,000 or 25,000, something crazy uh, classes um, based on these topics up here that you can see, UI and UX, which is going to be our focus for this live stream. Tons of classes that you can take right now, If especially you look over here with the overlay where it has uh, my free promo link where you get two free months um, completely free. Uh, so definitely check that out. They sponsor these live streams. Um, awesome sponsor. Okay, um, what we'll be doing is here's what we're gonna do. Uh, as always, and just for those who are new uh, to this, I am going to be reviewing your designs. They could be UI designs for your apps or websites. They could be, which it accounts for the majority of them, but it could also be logo designs as I've done a massive amount of identity design work myself. Um, also print design, anything that has to do with design, nothing with coding. I don't review code or anything, but um, if you have something you want me to review, I, we, uh, you first click on the Discord link here in YouTube uh, and you join, and I think it'll thrust you into roles first, but go to review submissions channel and you go here and you submit your design. It could be an image uh, or just a, um, a link or something to or to a portfolio or whatever. And I'll check out a few examples. And I also rate it from one to 10, one being the worst I've ever seen and, and 10 being the best. Uh, and so I uh, will also let uh, the chat people, um, all those people watching as well, we'll let them uh, rate your design as well. Um, also, I won't be able to get to all of them. I, I never do, uh, but if you really want me to, you can send a super chat like awesome, awesome Austin Hackett just did right here. Uh, and you can do that. You click in this money sign, click super chat, and then you uh, put in your Discord username for the message and then just put a certain amount right here. All right. And Austin Margarita Fun. Yes, that's that's right. Um, every Friday night, you know, I go out with the family and I have a couple of, uh, like I said, um, not very manly margaritas, and uh, this helps for sure. All right. All right, for sure. I will review yours first, Austin. All right, so, and then after that, um, we'll take them in the order that they come. All right. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. Do I work as a tutor in Skillshare? Um, I do have a couple of old courses, but I'm going to add a new one very soon. So I'm excited to that. I, I will definitely release a, a trailer on the YouTube channel and all that stuff. Okay, so uh, Austin is the very first one. 
Crafigo, Craf Crafigo or something. Where is it at? All right, which I'm looking for is, oh, right here, okay. First website I've designed that hasn't been through a tutorial. Okay, all right, let's check it out. So I'm always loading all the other, uh, these links on um, to uh, my other monitor, just in case nobody's trolling me. I don't think Austin would, but you know, I gotta be safe. Okay, so welcome to Figma here. Let me get out of here. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to log in here. Uh, sign in real quick. One second, I'm having issues. Con I, I forget my Figma URL or login. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let's try signing in with Google. Sorry about this. All right, it's loading now. Okay, awesome. All right, let's check this out. Uh, how can I view this bigger? What is happening here? Oh, I'm gonna have to hit play, I think. There we go. All right, I'm gonna move this uh, off to the side. I don't want it to show up too much. All right, so this is, this is Austin. Austin has been giving me, I assume this is Austin, right? Has been giving me uh, $10 like every week. So it's awesome supporting my um, alcoholism. Uh, all right, so let's see here. Let's click on portfolio. All right, resume. Okay, contact. All right, so let's start with, uh, let me try to get back to the home page. Now let's hit play again. Okay, so first off, all right, so one issue here is that your, oh, I hate when I do that. I, I wiggle the window and it goes away. It's a the Windows 10 feature. All right, one of the issues here that we see is the navigation right here is too close and it's not really separated enough from, you have the, uh, the title here, Jane Doe, full stack developer, data scientist, writer. So everything is kind of, it looks almost like a funnel, by the way. Um, and and it, it, this should be separated more so visually uh, or aesthetically. Um, so the fact that these are real close together, I would not advise doing that. Um, I would probably just stick to a more standard convention where you take this and push it to the right this navigation, make it a little bit smaller, um, and then probably put the person's name here on the left. Uh, then your Jane Doe, or your, your your title, your primary headline and your sub headline will stand on their own. It's a little bit, there's too much happening right here. So that's the main thing I would do. Also give them uh, some sort of call to action, some somewhere to go outside of, outside of just having your, your navigation here. I, I would probably put this person to the right and maybe put this stuff over here to the left and then have a button telling them to check out your portfolio, something like that. Uh, the portfolio itself, definitely got to get rid of the drop shadows right here, which are kind of like purplish. They just, they don't work well. Um, I would probably, what I would do is get rid of the shadow, put these, put these inside of uh, cards and just go type in like material design cards to see the type of aesthetic that I'm talking about. Um, and put those in and encase them with some um, padding inside of it. Um, and I think that will work better. Um, resume, let's see here. I, I would lay this out differently. Um, you see like the HTML and CSS at this icons right here that you're intending on putting, there's no padding at all whatsoever or white space inside of this container. And, and that just, it, it throws it off. Things need to have a lot of space around them. Um, and it looks a lot better. So like this has more space, it does look better. Um, I'm also not sure about having them, them all over on top of each other with like a, a shadow. I would just get rid of the shadow, separate them out with some white space between them a little bit. Um, and I think that would be better. Uh, contact, uh, it, it's simple enough. Um, there, it, it seems like there's a little bit of an issue with uh, 
how your your okay you have everything left aligned right here but then you have this center aligned i don't like that um i would either make this a full width like where it's going at 100 percent to where you know to 100 percent of this comment box or just left align this all right everybody what do you think that austin should be given for his design a rating from one to ten one being the worst ten being the best let me go back here i'll just go right here And I'll, I'll give my own rating as well. <clears throat> Four, three, three, six, six, eight point five, three. All right. Uh, I'm going to, I'd say probably the best page that's here is probably up here, this part. Um, Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm going to give it a three. So I'm, I'm looking forward to you improving this score. Uh, maybe come back next week. I uh, make some of those improvements. And I I will go again. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Austin's basically paying for all my drinks. That's, that's uh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. So let's start with the uh, next one here. Um, so where is my Discord? Okay. All right. Let's go to, I'm going to find the very first one. First one was SRV, the one. I'm not sure I'm going to be taken out too, because just because there's so many different people here to, to review. So I'm just going to take the first one you submitted right here. All right. And get the browser up, put it in. All right. This, the fact that this is overlaid is kind of nice, but I don't like it being on top of the user interfaces that I'm reviewing. So I'm just going to pull this out here. All right, there we go. That's good. Okay, so let's refresh this. So we have this uh, initial animation that comes in. It's very fast. Uh, let's see what else is happening here. Um, let's... <laughs> I haven't I only seen part of that movie I don't know why I didn't really all right so we have some sort of scrolling occurring here um, I would definitely change this uh, background so that it never creates this issue with the opacity right here it can really really can't see it not, I mean the contrast, not the opacity. Um, all right, that's an interesting sort of uh, navigation here. Oh wait, what happened? What happened? Well, the site just like exited on me. That's kind of strange. Go back real quick. All right, so the big, the first issue that I see here is uh, this logo. There's not enough. It needs to be scaled down a bit more. So, um, you know, again, even at this size, if you could just scale that down quite a bit, it would be much better. Um, height to V W like that. That's better. It has a little bit more white space. Um, cause this right here, there's not enough white space on the right or left. So definitely change that. Um, also, it's a little strange to have a login button down here. Usually you would put that maybe in the upper right and maybe just give it a different color to differentiate itself from the, these different categories you have up here. Um, this part seems a little bit much. It's kind of like, at first, you ref if I refresh, nothing shows up until I scroll down. So I would work on that. Um, other than that, these cards are pretty good. They're pretty large and in your face though. It almost feels like I have the browser zoomed up. Uh, so I, I might scale them down just a bit. I, I mean, it's it's fine, but it's, I'm being a little bit nitpicky. Oh, so that's cool. All right, so if I click on one of these stories, that's pretty cool the way that's set up. Um, you would definitely want to adjust this the way things are aligned here. You have this over here that's left aligned, and then this being the center panel, it throws off the flow of the design. So I'd 
try to work in a way that makes sense to have this and this element line up more with this, the beginning right here. All right, so what do you guys think that this individual should be given for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. Where's my drink? Here it is. JVS says five, three or four. We got a six, five, 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 seven. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with most people and I'm gonna go for a five. Yes. And it, it could be improved. Uh, just with, with a few of those adjustments. I think this part is pretty weak, this sidebar. Um, definitely fix that up. All right, let's go on to the next. Mr. JVS is next. Okay, uh, let me close that out. Okay, so let's check this one out. Um, let's refresh, see if there's any animation, no animations. Um, let's come down here. All right, pretty solid. Okay, so first, all right, the interesting little thing happening here. The first, the first issue is there's nothing that's pointing out to me that's evident that you know there needs to be some sort of call to action. Just having to scroll down for more info isn't ideal to me. Um, you could make an animated cursor uh, like the mouse scroll wheel icon, something subtle down here, which would be a little better. Or you can even put a button, a simple call to action button here. Um, I know you're going for simplicity, which is great, but having a button that would maybe take them to a different part of your page um, or a different page somewhere uh, would be ideal. Um, outside of that, this is all good. I mean, all the, the basics are nailed down. We have good contrast. This is borderline, but I, I, I could still read it. Um, let's see what our contrast plugin says. It says it fails, um, but if I hit auto, it makes it does make it a bit darker. So I would I would go six E, six E, six E on that on that text so you could see it a little bit better. Um, coming down here, when it comes to this uh, section of or this column of text, everything is separated out quite well. So I don't get to see this often. A lot of people screw this part up when it comes out to, to typography and, and visual hierarchy. Um, a good a good solid bold large headline then we kind of have like a um, like a subtitle that lists out the you know the categories which is separated very nicely between these two elements um, and then the description here stands out very well spacing is good um, and this is good as well nice margin and, and a padding white space all around this isn't too close to this and I could probably, you could probably even move these out a tad bit further uh, to the right, but um, do you want to, okay, this box in his own room, let's try clicking on the box. Oh, look at that. Isn't that snazzy? That's cool. What I would do is instead of just having a box and telling people, like forcing them to have to read this stuff, is put some sort of like click icon or something, make it animated, and then so people know right away to click that to see this cool sort of design. All right, so what do you guys think he should get for this? Uh, yeah, this design, one being the worst, 10 being the best. I already know what I'm gonna give. Let's see what you guys say. All right, so six, six, sixes, sevens, eight, nines. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Oh man, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna say an eight. Um, I want to say seven point five, only because I, I I think that this area. Um, 
something more can be done with this a little bit more for this this part up here um, letting people know where to go um, but everything else is really solid awesome stuff okay let's go on to the next one and make sure nobody's sending any super chats okay awesome just Austin so far um, again I should mention um, that I, I'm not going to be able to get to all of the reviews. How many are there? Tons. Um, so if you want me to send in a super chat by clicking that button and mentioning your Discord username and submit your design you want me to review here, and I will get to it for sure. And you'll, go, you'll be thrust into the very first position. All right, let's go the next one. Uh, right here. Uh, it's contrast with a K, contrast Chrome plugin. So I, I would just type that in uh, Google and find it. Uh, I already did this design. I already viewed, reviewed this page, but maybe they, they changed things up or something. Uh, so let's just do it real quickly. Hello, Steven. Okay. All right. So this is a little bit hard to read. I would drop down the opacity here. That's a nice uh, sort of animation there for the, the menu. This is nice. Probably dim this out. I, I still can't read this hardly at all. I would make these kind of come in quicker on the animation side just because uh, they, 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 they kind of come in too late in my opinion. Other than that, this is all pretty solid. It feels like, yeah, I definitely reviewed this one before, um, but I, hopefully you made changes. I can't remember. All right, so what do you guys think that this individual should be rated for their design? Or, yeah, the whole, not just the design, but everything. Uh, one being the worst, ten being the best. Eight, six, seven, four, five, four, four, four. Jack, stop spamming. All right, that's it. Time out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say eight. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like somebody said, improve the contrast and the, uh, the animation, the animation is just a little bit too much in my opinion. All right. Awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, because I, there's some really nice, uh, design occurring here. I, I do like it. Um, this is probably too heavy, way too much text, but I, I do like a lot of what's happening here in terms of design. It's pretty solid and elegant. All right. Uh, let's go to who's up next. Anime Moon. All right. Anime Moon. Um, let's move this over. Okay. Just more of these listings. I would make the uh, the anime moon this text itself a, a link that allows people to go to home. Um, okay, so this part right here, the uh, the hero section as it's called, is probably the weakest part of the um, this design uh, of the whole UI. I think. Yeah, because especially with this type of image, there's so much happening, and then you have the way you have anime moon just sitting on top of it, it gets lost. You can't really see it. So I would choose a, maybe a completely different type of image here, one with an area where there's not so much stuff happening behind it, and then you could put a high contrast anime moon or you know or a headline of some sort and a sub headline that would go well here. Um, this part's down here is pretty good. 
Um, I would like to see, I could see there's boxes, like little containers behind these two right here, but you could just barely see them because there's not enough contrast. Just slightly increase the contrast of that. So the, the background color, if I click here, maybe you're just right there. And we'll do the same thing here. There we go. So that kind of brings those out a little bit, brings more structure to the stack section here by seeing the background a little bit better. Um, so these are pretty good. I like this part. But this up here definitely uh, needs improved. So what do you think uh, this person should get for their design? It's a, a rating of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. Again, take into account everything. Uh, this is a pretty strong section right here. Let's see what this page looks like. Okay, so this is like a, a video. Oh, okay, just a bunch of videos basically. Yeah, I agree with most people. You guys are pretty solid you, uh, with, with the ratings here. You could definitely be improved. If, if the rest of the design was consistent with, oops, <laughs> click the wrong button. You can see what I'm thinking about. Uh, if the rest of the design was consistent with the quality of this area, you know, it could, it could definitely be like an eight. Okay, Let's see who's next. All right, enemy moon. Uh, images not optimized. This is the alpha stage. I haven't finished the design yet. Uh, all right. All right, thanks a lot for the $15. I will put that to good use. And keep trying. You, you, trust me, you'll get there. All right. Uh, let's scroll down. Hmm, pizza. Oh, I saw tax. You know what? I get so triggered when I see the word tax. It's it's taxier, and, and the government's about to rape me. Um, let's just come down here. I know it's not tax. It's taxi. All right. Not done yet, he said. Okay. All right. So first on, first off, let's see here. Uh, man, this logo right here, and I, you, you, this may be for a company whose logo you can't change or whatever, but boy, is it really hard to see, like, whatever this stuff is in here. Um, but again, you may not be able to change that. Um, I guess up here is pretty fine. Um, this area, I would give people somewhere to, to go outside of just putting like a big old logo uh, of sorts here in some manner give them somewhere to go or somewhere to click outside of the menu um outside of that it's, i could see it's definitely like a unique approach here um you know which is fine um this area i would like to see something over here i'm not sure if that's the unfinished part but definitely don't leave a big ass or a big ass a big ass blank spot right here um, take this and like move it over here instead um, this is good though. Uh, it's pretty good right here for the type. Good button right here. All right, so this this seems to work. Uh, good cards, good good white space. I'm not sure. I like how this kind of just ends abruptly right here. I don't know. I would. I don't know. Seems like this could be reworked differently um, for this. I mean, I, I understand. I like it. I like it right here too. Like it really contrasts well. Um, I would just try to think of perhaps a different way. See, because there's a lot of space like right here with nothing happening. I would try to remedy that somehow. All right, what do you guys think that he should get for a rating? That is, I uh, on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst and ten being the best. We have some five, six, seven, fives. Yeah, there is a, a fair amount going right here. There's just a couple things. I was, I'm gonna say, 
a 6.5. I think uh, it can be improved easily to like an eight um, if just if those things were addressed. All right. Oops. All right. Um, it has been 30 minutes so far. Um, we'll be, I'll be doing this for maybe another 30 minutes. Uh, but definitely it's time to mention the sponsor, which is uh, Skillshare.com. There we go. And I, uh, yes, take, I, uh, there's a link right here where you can get two free months of Skillshare.com. Uh, where you can take tons of classes in UI and UX design, uh, graphic design, illustration, uh, tons of awesome classes, and you can get two free months if you use my link, and it's also in the description here, so definitely check that out, the sponsor of this live show. Uh, let's continue on. Who is next? The white space above and below isn't including design. Okay, I don't... I don't Raj, I don't know what happened here. I, I don't know. And that doesn't look like that's what you meant to send. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. Please review my dashboard app prototype for salesperson. Okay. Um, where's the chat? There we go. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Um, get started. Log in here. Okay. Okay, so this page, the text inputs don't really stand out enough. I would make them contrast a little bit more than what you have, maybe a little bit darker than this. A uh, good call to action color here. I like the colors overall. This seems pretty solid. Good menu here. And we can drag this stuff. Oops. Everything seems pretty solid here. That's nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think uh, this is pretty solid from what I'm seeing here for a mobile app here. See, a lot has been put into this. Yeah. Points table. This is all good, good white space. Wow, this is a, a lot happening here. A ton of pages, I see. Anyhow, what do you guys think this person should get? I don't really have too many uh, critiques about this. Maybe center the, these two things a little bit here because it looks a little bit strange if they're just kind of somewhat right aligned when you could probably just, you could extend them all the way out possibly too. Someone saying 9.5. We have a lot of nines, eights, tens. Yeah, the logo, I would definitely improve that. All right, I'm going to say an eight. I agree with most people here. Good stuff. All right, uh, let's continue on. All right, this is the next one. Ooh, we got some animation occurring here. Oh, come on. Get over here. Okay. Um, let's scale this out. I'll refresh it so we can see the animation. 
This right here, I would I would not do uh, just because it's kind of unnecessary. It actually takes three seconds before you know uh, they can even see the site. I would probably just make it load on this. Also, um, this I understand. You know, it's cool to to use interesting sorts of animations, but you can't even read it because it, it's hiding half of it most of the time. Um, so I would. You know, if you're going to use this type of effect, don't make it completely fade out, and make sure that it's it complete. It's all readable uh, as well. Maybe change up the font. Um, I don't think this type of font really works well with the intended effect here. Uh, this stencil font. Um, continuing on. All right. Right now, I think there's just too much is trying to occur. Um, as I scroll down here, yeah, this is it. This is just it's bad for um, usability and, and readability. Um, to having all this animation placed on here, uh, people will have a hard time actually using this. So, in terms of like UX, it would be a bad user experience. Um, I can see you're playing around with uh, you know a lot of different CSS effects. Um, Again, like for instance, when you hover over here, we can't really read the text because this this particular background photo, the text is so it's difficult to read. Um, and even the buttons have that effect on, and you're not really sure half the time what it says. So I would definitely change things up. This is one of those cases where you know you may be very capable as a coder, but less is more. <laughs> Try to keep things more simplistic than they they are complex. Um, so yeah, definitely eased it way back on all of the effects. Also, the the real strong uh, drop shadows on the spin gray, I would probably ease that back as well. So I would say, I uh, yeah, what do you guys think this person should get for? Yeah, definitely want to make this show up, especially when they just want to go back home like every single time. So what do you think they should get for a rating? One being the worst, ten being the best. I'm gonna say a three, almost maybe even a 2.5. Um, so greatly simplify things, go to Google, type in landing page inspirations, uh, galleries, get some ideas of modern UIs and stuff like that and, and, and try to keep things more simp simple than they are, oops, <laughs> complex, I keep on putting that up. Um, all right, thank you for the submission, keep at it. And trust me, you know, when I, I I'm, I'm always trying to put myself in the beginner's shoes, but it's so hard in this this niche because I've been doing this for 20 years, so I can't really relate. But in a different field, when it comes to guitar, and I'm trying to cover all these really complex songs, like from Ingve Malmsteen, and I, I go to record it, and I'm like, Shh, I can't get this to sound right, you know. And and I, I ask for pe people to critique me and and everything, and uh, it does it sucks, you know. It sucks not being a damn pro, you know. But I understand because I'm I'm old enough now in my my wiser years of being 35 years old that you practice every day. You have to practice every day. Um, you can skip a day here and there depending on life circumstances, but you have to practice. I uh, Every day, I do that with guitar every night, you know, at least an hour, hour and a half or two, um, and, and you get better. Same thing with UI design. I, same thing with anything in life, really. You just have to practice like hell. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Who is next? Um, portfolio website prototype. Okay. Yes, and by the way, like I said, I won't get to all of them. And like somebody said, Scott said, I will end up sober tonight. Um, if you want me to do your review, and we're going to do this for another 20 minutes, send a super chat uh, with your Discord username and send in your link that you want me to review. All right. Okay. Let's refresh, see if there's any animations. There is initially, this must be um, one of the front end 
JavaScript frameworks. Oh wait, no, it's an Adobe, Adobe XD. Sorry, uh, it's, a, it's an XD prototype is what that is. All right, um, can't scroll down, even though it says scroll down. Okay. Coming down, all right, got a grip there, what's about? Here's the about, what's up, contact. All right, going back to home. All right, this 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 part is pretty good. Now, you, there's a lot of vertical text here, or rotated text rather, um, and I, I I like the look of that, but I'm not a fan of it if it's if it's placed on the primary navigation. Um, for secondary style navigations, you can do it. But I think, you know, when it comes to your core navigation, you should probably go to the standard conventions and, and make it a horizontal, typical navigation that you can use. Um, I, so, yeah, I would move that up. Um, this, this is pretty good, this section here. Um, oh, let's click light. There's a light version. Wait, what happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, this works as well. Let me go back to dark real quick. I didn't see that initial animation there. Um, I would probably change that up a little bit. It seems weird that they're like kind of cascading like that. Maybe just put them all on the same uh, column vertically. Um, right here, this is all pretty good. I, there's too much line height here between the, this right here. So I would bring that, condense those a little bit more than what they are and probably put more white space in this particular container right here. So push this out down slightly, just a little bit more. Um, same comments with these right here as well. Um, the about page, pretty good. All right, things are a little bit close together over here. So I would put more white space just a bit. Uh, but yeah, all right, what do you think this person should get for their UI design? One being the worst, 10 being the best. Someone says three, seven, seven, five, four, six point seven. Yeah, I'm gonna say a six point five to to a seven. Um, I think it could be an eight though, if it changed just a few things up. Okay. Let's go on to the next. We already did that one. That was a super chat. Latest work here. It's a Twitter link. Oh, okay. So it's like a Twitter um, design. Yes, yeah, so this will be available as a video later on. It usually takes YouTube a couple hours to get make it available on the YouTube channel. Okay. Purain, Purain, new design studio. Uh, oh wait, maybe you wanted me to check this out. I don't know. Um, Well, it's kind of hard to see just because it's it's tilted at such an angle but from what i see i mean it's even a little bit pixelated i think but from what i see there's not really enough to really judge um on this particular piece is there multiple images here I'm not sure uh but overall pretty solid here but again i'm not sure what it is that you wanted me to rate because you you looked at you linked me to your twitter so um, I'm not going to rate anything. All right, Canal. Let's open this. Open original. All right. Okay. Let's see here. We got a top bar up here. We got SD Life Science. All right. That's pretty solid here. Okay. Everything here is 
pretty solid looking. I don't think I don't see anything that's like real wrong. Yeah, I mean, there's an even amount of white space in most of the areas. Yeah, I really don't have too many uh, critiques about things that are objectively wrong. I I would probably ease back on the the amount of contrast on this border just a bit because it, it makes it a little bit liney in my my opinion. Maybe just really make it a light gray. Maybe beef it up to like three pixels. But I yeah, this is all pretty solid. This area is not a lot of white space on the top and bottom though with the size of this type. So I might change things up just a tad bit here. But yeah, this is pretty solid otherwise. What do you think this person should be rated? One being the worst, 10 being the best. Some people say 9, 8, 8, 8.5. Yeah, I'll say and eight good work wish it was on the site and not just a design but oh well or an image rather um low fidelity wire frame sort of just want opinions on the layout from others you can include this in a stream if you want but it's not fully complete i'll take a quick look at it All right, logo, navigation, um, headline, subheadline, view services. I would probably move down a little bit just because it's quite uh, close. Everything's you know real close together, kind of scrunched up there, so space things out a little bit more. Interesting abstract um, design here. I, I actually kind of like it. Um, right here. Not seeing anything too wrong with this. This part right here is probably a lot of just, you know, empty space. That's I'd probably just move things up a little bit differently just to condense the primary content here up a little bit closer. So you have content here with this amount of space, but then below this area, you have about triple the amount of space of nothing happening. So it just throws off the flow a little bit, in my opinion. Um, the first name, phone number, message, email, last name, I, I would kind of give more padding inside of those containers. All right, what do you think this person should be rated with their design? Again, like I said, it's a low fidelity prototype, so it's not even, uh, but for what it is, we can rate it. I, I think for this, I'm not even gonna wait for you guys. I think I'm just gonna give it a 6.5 uh, for what it is. All right. Keep on going. Really moving along today, aren't we? Um, my personal website, smt.design. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, let's refresh this. I like that. Very simple. Nice little uh, interactions here. Nice uh, logo. Very simple, easy to read, high contrast. A lot of white space here. This is nice. Also notice when you refresh this, initially you don't see these images, but it will at least show you that something's here, I believe, yeah. Very cool. These come in quite nice. Very uh, interesting sort of uh, approach at a call to action here. <laughs> That's a little jarring. All right, this is all solid. This is nice, look at this. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. It is really jarring. Um, but yeah. Oh, she plays guitar too. Get in touch. Very simple. Works. Yeah, this is solid. Let's click on another one of these. Yeah, I'm having a hard time really finding much wrong with this, and I really like the design uh, and, the, and the animations that are taking place. This is good. <laughs> yeah, this is solid. You know what? All right, what do you guys think this person should get uh, as a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. I'm going to give it a, and I was really contemplating, um, I'm going to give it a, um, oh man, this is hard. This is very hard. So there's just tiny things like client I think that could be done slightly differently because they're a little bit running together. Like I would like to see this maybe just separated out a little bit differently. Um, and and the, the the yeah, I'm gonna go with a nine point five. That's I think that's the highest I've ever rated anybody. So very very solid uh, job right here. Awesome awesome stuff. Yeah, very impressive. All right. Okay, eight point five. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Who is next? Uh, Fifty-two minutes so far. We've been streaming. I will definitely say I uh, will do this. You know, maybe at ten more minutes. If you want me to review your design, I uh, just send in a super chat, and I will do it. Just mention your Discord username. And I'll do it before we're done. All right. Uh, let's close that one out. Okay. Refresh this. Translate it. Got another uh, good website looking here. I really like uh, the colors here. It's very um, elegant, it says to me. All right, coming down here. I like I like the uh, the way you separated out the the labels with the supporting text. I like the font. What font is that? Oh, what font? It's called Knit. I might start using that. Maybe I'll take over Montserrat. You know, I don't know. All right, continue on. This is all good. Ooh, very nice. Four? You kidding me? Yeah, this is all very good. I like this. Ooh, you know what would have been cool is if you just didn't have a background on that. Let me see if I can do that real quick. Ooh, the CSS. You see CSS grid is here. I'm not sure how I can get to the proper selector so I can change the background. Yeah, well, I can't find it. Either way, it would be cool if this was just a border and you could see this little slight column back here and still have this here. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's click contact, see what that's like. Very solid here. 
no issues there. Uh, check out portfolio. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a, a single page. I like this. This is solid. All right. Um, I would say, um, yeah, let's do the rating. One being the worst, ten being the best. What do you think? Let me know in the chat. That's two really solid designs right in a row. One thing that's kind of, yeah, I can see it's kind of just taking up the whole page, but it was leaving me wanting to see something else here in this section. But um, I'm going to give this one a nine. Very solid. I like it. All right, let's continue on. I'll do a few more. Um, let's see. There was a translate option here. All right, what is this? Some type of video, okay. That's a lot of space that you're you're delegating to this column when there's just a play button here. So I'm not too sure. Um, this works though. Um, yeah, this is pretty solid too. Some interesting little animation occurring here. Kind of hard to see based on a couple of uh, the lighter photos uh, showing up here but yeah uh, let's click web design yeah pretty solid right here nothing going wrong yeah hmm let's see what the contact page looks like Kind of hard to see surname, email, so message. Make sure that those are you can bold them, or you could, um, and or you could uh, increase. Uh, you make them darker to so you could they're they're more easy to see. And this is a real bright color. It's almost hard to see. Send change that the cursor pointer as well. All right. So what do you guys think? This person should get rated one to ten. One being the worst, ten being the best. Yeah, but A, it's 6.5, 7. Yeah, I, I, I want to say, hmm, it's between a 7.5 and, and an 8, I, honestly. I, I'll i be nice. I'll be nice today, and I'll say 8. Maybe 7.8. <laughs> um, all right, so let's reset. All right, I'm going to do one more. Um, and if, like I said, if anybody wants to uh, have me do their design, then you'll have to send in a super chat by clicking the money icon and sending and mention, uh, mentioning your Discord username. So I'm doing one more, and then if anybody wants to do the super chat, I will do those after. Um, and who was next? What the fuck? Are you serious? Ban. Uh, let's say delete. Yeah, there we go. Ban. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, who's next? Um, this one. All right. All right. This site was designed with the Wix.com website builder. Oh, no. I... Yeah, I generally want to stay away from reviewing things that were built with website builders. Um, I, I will say this, this needs to increase in contrast. So I'm going to do the next one after this. But um, yeah, definitely I stay away from website builders um, if you're wanting me to, to review them. 
So we're going to do this one next. All right. Uh, this one looks pretty nice. All right. Okay, let's see here. Bonus technology benefits. That's an interesting sort of animation on the header part. Yeah, this is pretty solid. We've had uh, probably our best round of um, design review submissions probably since forever. Yeah, this is nice. I can't really see too much that is wrong. Let's see here. Very solid. Contact down here. I'm gonna make the contact probably end up right here instead of up here. So like make it go show the full section right here. So what do you think this person should get rated? One being the best, no, one being the worst rather, 10 being the best. Let's try our contrast thing here. Let's inspect. This, this it says fails actually. Let's hit auto. So it makes it a little bit darker, which is six, seven, 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 nine, one. People are saying nines and some tens, um, especially this one. If I inspect uh, the designer here, it fails. So I would just increase the contrast slightly on those elements. This is solid though. I can't. Oh, okay. We need to see the. Yeah, it's just a nice uh, image gallery here. All right. I'm going to say a 9.5. Definitely a 9.5. Um, just a couple things, you know, that, that made me not want to do a 10. Nobody's got a 10 yet. People are getting very close this time. All right. I'm going to take a look at some of the uh, um, the, the comments and, and if anybody has uh, questions or whatever, and I will hang around. Again, if somebody does want to, at the last second, want to send in a super chat for a review, I will do it. Oh man. All right. I think I'm going to head out now. We will do a um, another live stream next Friday. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a design review or a project follow along, probably a, a project follow along um, of some sort. And then we'll do another one of these in two weeks, um, two Fridays from now. I, I just hit control shift I to get out the, uh, the dev tools. What's the library for the hummus? I assume you mean the, the, the humans library or whatever. It's like, uh, it's, it's right here. I kind of poked fun at these characters in one of my design trend videos. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's at that URL. The one I was using to inspect the contrast is contrast. I think it's like get contrast or something. It's just contrast with a K, just Google it, contrast plugin.
Also, uh, definitely feel free to uh, idle and hang out in the Discord server in the link here. I'm always there. Um, and other people are here helping each other, etc. Uh, Christian, I just mentioned already, it's contrast with a K plugin. Are you following other YouTube content creators? Yeah, I actually am. Um, let me let me get out my browser here. Go to my channel, and you'll see my uh, some of my subscriptions. Let me make sure there's none I don't want you to see. <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch. Uh, let's see here. Um, Joe Rogan I have on here. I have a lot of guitarists because I'm really into guitar. Um, Blender, I was into Blender for a while, so Blender Guru is like the pop most popular channel. Um, this guy's a digital painter. This is a, another guitarist, guitarist. There's Brad um, from uh, Tech Guy Web, another guitarist one, composer guy, guitarist. There's old school dev tips when they used to be around. They're still around, but it's not with the same dude. Um, guitarist, I forget what that's for. Slidener, my old ex-partner. Yeah, just a bunch of them right here. So I really don't follow like a ton of people in this space. Yep, I will definitely be making front end courses. The next review, I don't, I don't continue where I left off. I, uh, I basically uh, just start with fresh. You know, I usually announce in an hour before, and then people can start submitting, and then I'll just start from that top of that list. What made me? Well, how much should we charge for web design? That's such a loaded question. It's very difficult to answer. Depends on your skill. It depends on the company that you're going to be working with. I uh, I don't really. Yeah, back in the day when you you know we didn't have the CSS grid or anything and I used to use a uh, foundation for its grid system um, I've used bootstrap a long time ago in the past but now these days um, mostly it's, it's all custom I uh, I I've heard of leveled up to its Tuts, but I don't, I'm not familiar with it though, so I don't really know. Yeah, I need to really get more into Docker before I ever make a video on it. All right, I am going to head out now. I, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll do this again next week. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you idle here in the Discord server. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.